Okay. I am not going to be before you long. I promise you. Um, excuse my hair. I just woke up. Excuse my face. I just woke up. But I'm not going to be editing this video a lot either. I just have something to say and I'm going to say it and I'm going to be out y'all's way until my next video. Um, as far as the recent Black Lives Matter movement, everyone is so happy that we are making the impact that we are or that we have been thus far since the death, since the murder of George Floyd. And um, I am proud that we've gotten the attention of so many people that wasn't acknowledging us beforehand, but that's the thing. They weren't acknowledging us beforehand these brands and companies and stuff it's kind of like irritating like i don't know if if i'm the only person that feels like this but um it feels like i am because i see so many people everyone's so happy that the progress is happening or they see progress is happening they see that we're being acknowledged black lives matter things are closing down we're making a change we're tired of it and everybody knows that we're fed up i know that's something to be very proud of and i am but i can't help but to feel irritated too and i don't know if i'm the only one that's feeling this irritated as well or what okay so years back when colin kaepernick was kneeling um, everyone was against it to a certain extent. Like, of course, we had the people standing with him, but it was people that didn't agree, saying it was disrespectful, all of this. But everybody knew the ultimate reason why Colin Kaepernick was kneeling. Everybody knew the ultimate reason why he was disrespecting America to get respect for himself. He's basically, he was saying black lives matter and all lives can't matter until black lives do. We can't respect something that don't even respect us. And everybody thought it was a big crime. People wasn't standing with Kaepernick. Nobody was doing any of that because he was alone. He was doing all this stuff alone. But now that everyone is a part of black lives matter and everyone supports black lives matter everyone is talking about the death of george floyd and how disgusting it really was and now everyone backs black lives matter everyone sees how the black people are acting and people who support black people are acting and rioting and protesting. And it's like, it's clout. At this point, it's clout. You see how the pictures of people holding up their signs and the people of pictures, pictures of people walking for the cause and everything that's going on. It's like media, it's publicity and all these companies are standing by us, standing by us but not really standing by us and it's stressing me out. It's irritating me because where was y'all when Colin needed support, when Colin needed people to back him up? Uh, that's why I mess with Nike so strong because they did support Colin when he needed the support. Maybe they was doing it fake. Maybe it was like, wasn't genuine support. And, but like, they did it in a time where they could lose customers. They did it in a time where we needed to see that as black people. Like, uh, not a lot of people were standing behind Colin Kaepernick as they should have. And now we're in a time where everybody's standing behind black people, even the people that don't like black people, because it's a good look. And it's irritating. And I see right through it. I see right through it. Like, yes... Um, thank you everybody for putting it out there because even the ungenuine support could get real supporters because people who support the ungenuine supporters could actually think they're being genuine and genuinely support us. I don't know if that, but it's like the ungenuine supporters was getting me like everybody's going to stop right there. They're going to use all of this publicity and all of this buzz and all of this talk and all of this speech and everything. And they're just going to take it and they're going to capitalize off of it. And they're capitalizing off of black people's hardships. They're 
ca capitalize off of capitalizing off of black people's pain the heartache like this doesn't feel good at all like um I'm 22 years old and I'm seeing it too much. This mess is really hurting me. It don't make me want to have kids at all. Like, I don't want to grow anybody up in this world. If I got to watch their back all the time while watching my back, it's just, I don't want to. It's, we're always going to be at the bottom is what I'm realizing. And I don't know how to fix it. Like, yes, the point is to determine change and be determined for change and like declare change and be the change you want to see yes it's like even when we we're the change we want to see and we're fed up and we're sick and tired people taking it as a joke and capitalizing off of it and like taking it and twisting it into something that doesn't really matter it's like we're we become like a, a artifact kind of like I just feel like we can do more as a people. Like, now that we got everybody's attention, now what? I feel like we never had the plan, like, the the steps in place for situations such as these. Like, this just happened and all the black people were supposed to come together, like, Transformers or something and put out a word or something. I don't know. I feel like we should have been more prepared for all of the eyes to be on black people like they are because now that the black people now that we got the attention that we've been wanting and the like speaking out that we've been wanting and like believe me we've always had it everybody's always seen the injustices everybody's always got their name we've always got their name out greatly people have always seen it it's just like it hasn't been so obvious and it hasn't been so loud to a point where people can't ignore it even if they wanted to ignore it they can't ignore it and i just need people to realize that it's more than just a trend it's become a trend black lives matter is really a trend it's sick it's irritating i'm at eight minutes but and I'm talking too long, but this is just sick. It's irritating. It's disgusting that we become a trend to some clout tra chasers that would literally do anything for clout, even stamping a Black Lives Matter on their profile page of their business that is obviously so deeply racist. Like, it's people, I guarantee... <laughs> People just saying Black Lives Matter so they don't have us against them and it stresses me out. It's like, okay, we've come to the Black Lives we've come to the Black Lives Matter portion of everything. We've gotten everybody to speak out about it. We know the injustices. We need equality. We won't change today. And we know all it is, but like now what? Like I just said, come on, come together, be a people. Talk about the problems we really need to see fixed. We need to see so many things change and nobody's talking about it. It's like we're celebrating too early. Why? What are we celebrating right now? We haven't seen any change because they painted Black Lives Matter on a road in front of the White House. We think that's changed. No, that's not change at all. We we ain't going to see change until it's not so easy for Donald Trump to um, get some people to get tear gassed. So he could take a picture in front of a church. Like, we ain't going to see change until stuff like this isn't normalized. Like, it shouldn't even have to be be that. We need to talk about the issues for black people, not just us dying. Yes, us dying is a major issue, and we need that change. But now that we've talked about that, we need to continue to bring stuff up and continue to seek change, continue to bring up names. Not only of the people that have been in justice, with their deaths but the same thing with like people who have been educated who have been wrongly um like the person at university of mississippi um 60 something years ago a man couldn't even apply to the university of mississippi without getting arrested and they put him in a, a sane asylum because they thought he was insane for wanting to go to the University of Mississippi, a.k.a. Ole Miss. Like, 
Like, bring up things like that. Like, people are bringing up the things. That's obviously how I know about it. But people are bringing up them things. But I need, mean, like, on a bigger scale. Talk about education. Talk about statistics. Bring up this. Bring up that. Like, nobody's doing any of that, including myself. Like, statistic-wise, nobody was prepared as a black people. I don't think any of us was prepared for this to go the way that it has. But because it has gone this way, I need us to feed off of it, play off of it, use our voices. That's why I've decided to finally come and speak out. Use our voices no matter the consequence. Use your voice and be a part of the change that you want to see. Like, nobody's, everybody's talking about police and all of this, but nobody's talking about the people like the National Guard soldiers that's going and um, standing guard or blocking or whatever, damage control or people controlling, riot controlling in Washington or Minneapolis, like wherever it is, nobody's talking about that. We need people like that to stand up as well, like police officers as well. If you're out there supposed to be damage controlling the, the peaceful protesters or blocking off things for peaceful protesters or even rioters, like there's certain things that are going to have to be sacrificed for a change and that's just what it's going to have to be we've seen it in times before we're going to have to see it now we've seen people get arrested we've seen people we haven't literally seen people lose their jobs but you already know it came with the territory of trying to actually be an activist and trying to actually enforce change and trying to actually get change in America, people are going to have to sacrifice things. With that being said, I'm in the military and I'm in the National Guard. It was said that we are not supposed to basically speak out about anything if we're known to be in the military. Like, if if I put on my social media that I'm in the military, if any, if all of y'all are on my social media, y'all know I'm in the military by my Instagram. So because I'm known to be in the in, in because I'm known to be in the military on my social media, I'm not supposed to speak out about any of anything that's going on. I'm not supposed to um, say that I'm on this side or this side or this side or this side, especially with Donald Trump being my commander in chief. My commander in chief. Oh, some people are going to have to sacrifice. Some things are you're just going to have to sacrifice to get see the change that you want to see, get the change that you want to see. You're going to have to give up things, and some people might lose their job. Some people might get arrested. Like I'm not finna shut up just because the military told me to. They don't want us to associate with everything was going on but i don't understand i'm fighting for a country or i'm supposedly fighting for a country or y'all want me to fight for a country that don't even want to fight for me that don't even want me to speak out about myself and my issues about the issues that's going on in america in the world y'all don't even want me to speak out about that but y'all want me to go overseas to fight for y'all hmm? I don't understand. And I think everybody needs to start understanding that money is not important enough. Your career is not important enough for humanity. Like, I don't know. If you want to be an activist, actually be an activist. Don't be no black activist, no fake black activist now. Don't actually act like you won't change. And then when you have the opportunity to get the change you want, don't, don't step about it. You need to step, step behind all that too. If you, don't want to be silenced, don't be silenced, because I'm not finna be silenced. If you want to see change, demand that change, no matter what position you're in. I don't even remember what I was saying, because my camera stopped recording, but I'm basically saying, if you want change, you gotta be about it, period. Step about it, period. Like, if you wanna, if you wanna be that change, be that change. If somebody's trying to shut you up about Black Lives Matter and talking your talk and speaking out about it go against it because that's the change you want to see do you even really want to be under the people telling you to be quiet about something that you you feel so passionate about if i feel so deeply about this stuff if if like if i'm feeling literally sick listening and watching some stuff it's 
obviously not right for me to shut up about it something's not right if people are trying to get me to be quiet about it like why does it have to why do i have to be quiet about it if nothing's wrong with what's going on right now you're basically telling me that i'm right and because you're telling me that i'm right i'm not gonna shut up i said this wouldn't be a long video but this dang near a 15 minute long rant of me talking about america and my thoughts about black lives matter r.i.p to all the victims to all the injustices in america especially our black kings and queens um what we need as america more than anything is prayer more than anything else is prayer but we all need to stick together and actually remember the goal not to get clout not to be instagram famous not to be social media famous we actually want change so let's actually work towards the change yes um i said i wasn't gonna post anything else until i talked about this so i talked about this i'm still probably going to continue to talk about this along with my other videos i have a video dropping later this week a snake eyes tongue piercing video is already recorded i'm gonna just upload it if you want it you gotta go and get it subscribe like and comment in that order all my social media is in the description box down below tell me your thoughts down below please let me know let me know know what you thinking um, again sorry i look a hot mess i will look better in my next video kinda but the next video after that i'm gonna do something to my hair and i might record that i don't know but yeah um i'll see y'all in my next video i'll talk to you later thanks for watching bye